UFC one changed the martial arts world forever. He is absolutely first face on that Mount Rushmore of MMA. They have a history together. I'm looking for what he calls his skin. It's personal. He's a humble guy, but he's a cocky guy. The most important fight is the next one that he's having with Shema. And we're going to see a new voice, a better voice. Fighting again brought me back alive. If you're going to challenge his integrity, he will fight the devil. Everything what I am is Gracie Jiu Jitsu. The gun range is a different competition. It's speed, it's accuracy, it's sight, eyes, everything got to be synchronized. It's a different world. I like to pass everything down to my kids. Not just jujitsu, but everything. It's about knowledge, I tell them. Shooting has become a favorite hobby over time. A discipline that draws a level of precision and body control hoist sources from his world-class jiu-jitsu lineage. A family history that went public with Hoist's shocking win at UFC 1 in 1993. Just four months later, the Gracie fighting system would be tested once again at UFC 2. It was a completely different world in UFC 2 just because of what people saw from UFC 1. People were changing what they were doing to start to deal with the complexities of a real fight. UFC 2 came along. There was four fights in one night. At first, I hated Hoist Gracie. He was beating karate guys and kung fu guys. I didn't want him to win, but by the time they got to the finals, I had fallen in love with Hoist Gracie. And I thought, okay, I'm quitting karate and I'm doing this. UFC 2 minutes and 30 seconds, I caught him in a triangle. Hoist's win over Dan Severn was the most significant. Two of the best styles of grappling, and Hoist prevailed. He got that triangle, and, and that just cinched it for everybody. At age 49, with nothing left to prove, Gracie's love of fighting and a familiar opponent is now drawing him back into the cage after almost nine years away. Hoist and Ken Shamrock will do battle for a third time. After Gracie's victory at UFC 1 and their famous 36-minute fight that ended in a draw at UFC 5. I love being in training camp. I love my time to learn, my time to get in shape, to focus on myself, to rediscover myself. Second, it's Ken. He just talks too much. 